Hey, it's Aran here. In this tutorial, I'm going to answer the question of how to install the system templates. Now, this is very important for you to understand that when I'm sharing system templates with you, they might be sections or elements or pages, and you need to be very aware of the distinction of each. The reason for this is if you were to look at system IO pricing, you will notice that there is a free plan. There is also the highest plan and there is plans in between. Now, when you look at these pricing models, you will notice that there is limits on the sales funnels. So on the free plan, you can have three sales funnels on the unlimited plan. You have unlimited when if you're on the basic one, which is typically the 197 plan, if you use my affiliate link, uh, which is obviously cheaper than what's publicly available on their website there is an option to have 10 sales funnels, but sales funnel steps are 50. Each individual page is considered a step. Now here there's 300, here there's unlimited. Now, because I'm aware of these limitations, I have created my templates so I don't just share individual pages because every time I share a funnel with you, if for example, a funnel has seven pages, I have just taken away seven out of the 50 available. As soon as you start downloading a few of these templates, you'll be pretty much out of space and you will be forced to upgrade. And while I, I don't think you shouldn't upgrade, the point is I don't think you should upgrade unnecessarily. You should be intelligent about your spending, your expenses. And therefore, when I share funnels and templates, you will find that a lot of times I give you an option where I share a block or a section. Because when I share a block or a section, there is actually no limit. I'm not hitting the limits that you're seeing right here. Let me show you what I mean by that. So if you look at the landing page in a day, course, for example, you will see system landing page templates. Now, if you were to look at this and I explain how this works, right? Be logged into the system IO account, browse to the images. Once you'll be, you'll see which one you like, you click on it. So basically I'm going to click on this section. Now this section is going to give only this part right here. Okay. And if I click on this section, it will be only this part. And if you want this section, it will be only this part. Okay. And the same goes for these pieces, basically section, section, and section here, section, section, and section. Now this one is section and section two two sections. Now I'm going to pretend that I'm going to click on it and I want you to pay attention. Now, when you click on this, it will open up in a new tab and it's going to open up in your system IO dashboard. Now, if you are not logged in, like in the case I'm here, you're going to see this. So you need to click on log in and I'm going to do that now with my email address. So I'm going to sign in. Now, bear in mind, this is just my test account. That's why you need to be logged in because it won't actually accept it. So now I'm going to do it again and I'm going to click on section one. And now that I'm logged in, it will open up straight to the dashboard. And you're going to now be like, well, hang on. I'm in the dashboard. Where is the template? Let me show you. So then you want to go to funnels. You're going to pick a demo funnel or whatever the funnel is. And you will see this one. The block was shared. It is now available in your page editor in the block section. So now you're going to click here on the editor. Now, one thing you see where it says here, you have exceeded your limit of your plans because I'm on a free plan. So if I was to share a full page, it will not actually get added. That's why it's really important the way I share it, which is through sections. Now I'm going to click here to the editor and pay attention. This is the section that I was clicking. Now, when you're in your editor, you're going to be able to click on blocks, my blocks. And here is the template, the Michael landing template, which is this one. Okay. Now, if I was to now click on, let's say I'm going to go to the top and I want this section, this section, and this section. So I'm going to click on one, two, and three. Now I'm just going to delete these ones because I don't need so many open. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to refresh this page, the editor. And if I go to my blocks, you're going to see Karina's one, two, and three. Now here's how you're going to deal with this situation. You're going to delete what's here. And now this will be a blank page. Now all you're going to do is click once. It will appear, click twice, click three times, and you have your landing page ready to go. Now, if you happen to do this in the wrong sequence, that's okay, that happens. So what you're gonna do is instead of just clicking on it, notice that whenever you click on it, it's always gonna go to the bottom, okay? So you don't wanna just click on it in some cases, unless you're doing it in the right sequence. You can click on it, but don't release your finger and actually drag it in. When you drag it in, realize it's a section. So you're going to want to wait to see the blue. So if you see it like this, it's actually not going to drop. 
So I'm going to release and nothing will happen. Now I'm going to do it again. Notice that when I release, it's going to go in the right place because notice that the blue line is between the two sections and now it is perfect. Okay. Now, if I was to drag this section, for example, and put it somewhere random, like for example, trying to put it around here, it's not going to work because this is a section, not an element. Okay. Now, in some cases I might share an element with you at which point you can control where it goes. So if let's say I shared a button with you, so I'm going to click on save template for the button button demo, just for the sake of demonstration. Basically what I'm saying is a section will always go between sections and you can't do it any other way. Whereas an element, you have a little bit more flexibility. Okay. So I'm going to reload this page for the sake of demonstration. Now notice I didn't save it right now. I'm going to click on blocks and you'll see that I saved the button. And if I now drag it, I can put it above this text, below this text, I can put it below this video and so on and so forth. So I've got more control based on that uh, fact that it's an element, not a section. Okay. But a lot of the times I will be sharing with you sections for the most part, although there are some exceptions. So um, basically again, you will now, I'm going to show you this to you again, just to make sure you it's all clear. So let's just say you like this one offer you're like, okay, I like this one. So you're going to click on. Section one you can close this because you don't need it again. Section two and note that nothing is going to show you what's going on. So only when you go to funnels and go into one of the funnels, it will actually share, say the block was shared. Okay. Now I know it's not the greatest user experience. I'm going to have to record a video to show you, um, you know how that works, but anyway, it is what it is. So it's fine. I'm just showing you how to do it. So now that that's done, I'm going to go back to the editor. I'm going to refresh. I'm going to delete what's here. And then have a look at blocks and my block and you see here roofs one two and three so i'm going to click one two three done okay now note also that the text is you know might not be the way you want it okay so you want to do is you want to go to settings and in settings you want to change the font here so for example if my font is poppins which it is i'm going to click on poppins and everything is going to automatically change to Poppins, which is my font. Now, the reason it's going to do it that way, because I have set up. So when I share this, the font is always going to be whatever the font is of the page. Now you may want your font to be different for different elements. That's okay. But I did it deliberately to make your life easier. So you can change. Let's just say your font is something totally different. Let's say your font is Pacifico. Okay. So you're going to click on it and you'll notice that everything will change to Pacifico. Okay. So I just was showing you this to show you the distinct, the distinction. Okay. Uh, and it's really important that you see that now the heading might be different. So the heading, for example, if you go to settings, you'll notice that this is the heading, but then there is also the, the typography for the text. So I might want that to be different, right? So I'm going to click on in this case, Roboto condensed, and you'll see that it will change. Whereas if I want the typography, the, the heading to be different, I can make that Montserrat. So it's going to change the headlines. So the headlines is going to be that and the text is going to be different. So headlines are the heading and any bullets and any text is going to be based on the default typography. Okay. So that's how you customize things. Hopefully that clarifies. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, by the way, I recorded this video because I had a few people actually ask me about this because they were clicking this and they didn't understand what the hell was going on. And they're like, why is it going to my dashboard? I'm not, I don't make, I don't understand. So this was really helpful to me because I didn't think that it wouldn't be so intuitive and it's true. It's not intuitive. So therefore it is important for you to record a video. So any feedback you have from me is definitely welcome. I also changed the fact that it was opening in the same tab. Now it's opening in a new tab just because I don't want your course area to disappear. Okay. So anyway, it's going to open up a lot of tabs. It's going to be a little bit annoying. You just have to close them and keep just one tab open. So you're not overwhelmed with a bunch of tabs. So there you go. Thanks a lot for watching this video. I really appreciate you and I'll speak to you soon.